It's 8.39 coming up on 8.40. It is the Hometown Morning Show with Tori and Kyle. Special guest in studio. Good morning, Shannon. Avazian? It, that's right. Am I, am I right? You're perfect. Oh, my goodness. That's <laughs> twice in a row now. Yeah. I I can't I can't mess it up the next time. No, nope, you got it. Because I already did it right twice. Shannon is from Assisted Living Locators and Shannon, you're going to tell our listeners right now what exactly that means. I think I have a little bit of an inkling. Assisted Living Locators. How can that help us here in the Santa Clarita Valley? So we're really just a service here for our home-based community. We're a local Think of like a realtor slash case manager. We're here to help you find the um, assistance you need, really, whether it be in-home care or actually out of the home in an assisted living or even maybe a referral for skilled nursing. We just got our hand on the heartbeat, so we work with these, you know, different, you know, whether it's the care or the nursing. So it's basically you're, you're the conduit. Yes. You are. We call you when we have an inkling we need maybe some help. Maybe our parents need a little help around the house. Maybe they need full-on nursing care. Maybe they need to move out of that house and get 24-7 care. Mm -hmm. Maybe they just need, uh, you know, a place to go uh, with people their own age. We call you. Mm Mm-hmm. So we'll go in and we'll do an assessment and we really want to determine what's the best fit for mom or dad. Mm -hmm. And we need to find out medically, do a medical assessment. And then from there, we'll do a recommendation based on what we know in the local area. Oh, great. So you help us. We just don't uh, assess it ourselves. We don't, we don't just say, I think mom and dad, they didn't need to move out or they need something. You come in and you deal with it and say, you know, professional opinion, they really should go in this direction down this lane. Correct. Excellent. So We don't leave that on our shoulders correct? because we could be assessing things completely wrong. wrong. Have you ever run into that where, you know, we call you and say, yeah, we think, uh, you you know, mom and dad need just a little help with the laundry. Right. And you go in and it's much more than that. Exactly. And a lot of times, you know, um, you know, you think you want to go to a certain property or certain community and sometimes that's not the best fit. And so that's where we come into play. You know, yeah, it might be a good fit one direction, but it may not be for care or it may not be for social. So we try and look at the whole picture to determine what's best because you don't want to move mom and then find out, you know, a month later it wasn't a good fit socially. Right. You know, and that's where our expertise really comes into play. Have you ever had that uh, particular uh, scenario where, you know, a, 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 a client would call and say, yeah, I think we need to do this. And they're kind of stuck. Mm -hmm. on whatever this is Mm -hmm. you know they're thinking in their mind this is what needs to happen you come in and say uh really it should be this are they happy with your decision once you kind of bring them over to the right side of things sometimes i mean (laughs) obviously you know in the end they are but in the beginning you got you got to walk them through that phase you know and understand why it's not a good fit Mm -hmm. and then once you've shown them then they're thrilled they're like wow you know you really just saved us what it could have been and totally you know you put them in a boarding care and that was not you know because Maybe they're looking at a dollar amount. A dollar amount in a boarding care is going to be more fixed. So they mm-hmm. think, oh, okay, that's, well, no. Mom needed more social, and she needed to be in the big communities. So it's Well, Shannon, really- honestly, you know, money, I think, has to be the bottom line. And I'll be honest with you. Mm-hmm. Um, so I'm glad you're being honest with me. Mm-hmm. Sometimes it is a little rough uh, handling clients from mm-hmm. here and there. Um, it's it's because it, we're very vulnerable. We're, we're it's a volatile situation. We don't know if mom and dad even want to do anything. We don't know if they want people in their house or if they want to move. It's a tough thing to do. And so you're walking into a couple of flames there, mm-hmm. you know, to get to the situation. Um, it, so so you get people situated, and do they ever come back and they? say you know what Shannon thank you so much because we just didn't have our head on straight this is such a tough thing to do thank you for walking us through and keeping our you know all the time tempers all the time and you know it's so stressful because when you have to tell your loved one you know I have a client right now she's been in her bed for about a year unable to even get out of bed and she's been in a situation where roommates have been taking care of her and it's just been not a good situation and the support I gave the family they were able to make the right decision move mom up here and get her the appropriate care 
but I have to sometimes go in and talk to mom as well. I mean, talk about walking into the fire. And that's part of my service. I'm there to support the family and even have those difficult conversations with them, you know, and walk into that parent and have, because sometimes having that extra resource or that extra third person who knows what they're doing, the Absolutely. parent is more willing to listen than just, Oh, we definitely you know. need a professional. Yeah. Yeah. We think, hey, listen, you know, we think we know what's best for mom and dad. Sometimes we do, mm -hmm. but most of the time we don't because this is a brand new situation for us um, as a generation. It's a brand new situation. We have never really seen, you know, our parents have been taking care of us, right? Mm -hmm. So now it's in the reverse. Yep. And so we think growing up with them, we know what they need. And that's not necessarily the case. And so be patient with us right. <laughs> because it's tough. It really is. And I'm sure you walk into some really tough situations and you have to deal with them. Mm -hmm. But you get them done. Mm -hmm. And that's why assisted living locators is so important to have this service in the Santa Clarita Valley because we just need a direction. Mm -hmm. We can call you. We can call. And within our, you know, within even 20 minutes, I can streamline the whole process for you. And you're like, wow, you just saved me hours of being on the phone, being frustrated, going and seeing a property that wasn't the right fit. I'm able to tell you within 20 minutes, mm -hmm. here you go. And, you know, we'll go tour them together. Or if you don't even want to tour them, I'll give you the information and you could tour without me. But I like to usually go because I help assist with the tours and what to look for, what's good, what's not. How long does it take from start to finish, do you suppose? I know every case is different. Every case is different. But maybe an average of from start to finish, how long do we think we can get something together? Well, I usually do a three-hour block because I like to look at least, you know, two or three properties. Mm -hmm. So within three hours, you're going to have a pretty good idea of what you can expect and what you're looking for financially and also what the communities look like. That's nothing. Yeah. That is nothing because when I had to do this for my dad years back, mm -hmm. uh, m weeks went into months. Right. Weeks went into months because we would go into a facility we thought we'd like, mm -hmm. tour a couple of more, we'd circle back to the original place, and now there's no room. That's exactly it. So, I mean, it, That's it, can, exactly it. it can get just absolutely crazy. crazy. So to have you, Shannon, to, to have this service is absolutely a necessity in the Santa Clarita Valley. Uh, I need a website and phone number. Uh, and also, by the way, this is being uh, recorded uh, for YouTube mm -hmm. and Facebook. Mm -hmm. So uh, if you have, if our listeners have any questions, because I know they're probably traveling to work right now uh, and they probably can't write anything down, go back to the interview. You can call us here at the station. It is, I think, Shannon at Assisted Living Locators, and it's assistedlivinglocators.com. Perfect. And Shannon with two N's. Actually, three ends if you want to. <laughs> it's double N O N. And a phone number, the best number to reach uh, assisted living locators? 661 544 1004. 544 1004. Shannon, it's been a pleasure. Thank you so much. Sometimes we just need a helping hand. And I'm here. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank you. Beep.